Hello YouTubers and welcome to day two racing here at Pied de Luc. Oh, the weather has got worse than yesterday. Absolutely fantastic. But as always, rowing is a rowing sport and we have to deal with the conditions on race day. It looks slightly flatter, but the skies are darker. The wind's definitely going to be picking up throughout the day according to the forecast. And it kind of looks calm just down here at the finish line, just at the pontoons, but as we knew from yesterday's racing, it might look okay down here, but at the start line, it might be a completely different story. So now we're going to get the Lamborghini name yet to be determined, ready to get on the water, then we're going to get on the water, and then we're going to race for the first race of the day. Fingers crossed the conditions are a little better than yesterday, but even if they're not, again, pushing myself outside of my comfort zone and trying to improve. So let's get to it. And the Yamagini name yet to be determined is all strapped down now after a little jaunt in the water. I wanted to go for a swim, so I couldn't say no. So now I'm going to warm up 
get changed, then we'll have a little bit of a chat about the race itself. And we've made it back to the ambulance. Lovely hot shower, got the heater on full and just making some food now to fuel up after the race. The race itself, obviously I fell in, which was a bit of an unexpected event. Uh, the Prior to me falling in, I just wasn't happy with how I was sculling. So yesterday, the conditions were more crosswindy. Today, they're a lot stronger headwind. So the side bounce was less, but there was a lot more continuous, just direct chop and bounce. But also there was a stronger wind to push you around as well. And so going off of the start, I was, I was okay with where I was position wise in the race. And I felt like, okay, I'm gonna continue through the race, just power through and keep on pushing every stroke, it's a big strong headwind, the water's not ideal, so just trying to get as many good strokes as possible through the entire course. And just as I progressed through to the 1K roughly, my shoulders, my arms, my hands were all really tightening up. And even I looked at a little bit of video and you probably saw it as well, I was really leaning quite a bit as well. So. I just wasn't dealing with the conditions very well at all and then it meant that I was tightening up and then it meant that I didn't have a lot of control and then it meant that I ended up falling in when I did have a stray stroke. So not ideal but definitely pushing me outside my comfort zone once more and it's definitely a learning opportunity for sure. Yesterday yes the conditions were bad but I was able to row in them. Today's conditions were probably more rowable but harder to row in, if that makes sense. So I felt like yesterday was a little bit of a confidence booster. I was like, okay, um, I'm rowing better in the conditions that I thought I would, but today, not to the confidence. And definitely, it's almost, I don't really, honestly, it's fell in in a high caliber race. And so I don't want to make a fool of myself. I want to represent myself well. So I'm a bit disappointed in falling in in general, but also just disappointed in myself of how I was rowing prior to that. But I can't do anything about that now. We've got another race this afternoon, just waiting on the schedule for that. And we'll see how the weather is. If the weather is like this again, the aim will be not to fall in, but to... It's really easy to say when the conditions are bad, but to row looser, to be more relaxed, and yes, harder said than done, but that will be the aim if the conditions stay like this, which I think they are supposed to, and it just depends when the, the race is scheduled next. So, I'll let you know when that happens. Just going to fuel up, relax, chill out, come down a little bit from falling in, and we'll see you in a few hours. And now we have the schedule for the heats. The whole schedule has been pushed back 90 minutes today because the wind was picking up and picking up and picking up and then according to the forecast it's dropping off and so they've pushed the heats back so when it does start to drop off that's when the heats start. Unfortunately it means that the conditions, yes they are dropping off but they're dropping off from a higher peak than where they were this morning so the actual conditions are very similar to what they were this morning and we all know what happened in this morning's race. So for this afternoon's heats in the race this afternoon, I'm going to row better. That's the aim and that's what I'm going to do. And then we'll see where that gets me in the race and the results. I just want to go out there and not have that feeling of, okay, that was a disappointing skull for myself. That was a disappointing row. I want to go out there, cross the finish line and think, okay, I have done well here. I have represented myself better. I can work on some things and I know I can do that, I did this well and I can maybe do that better. That's what I want to go through the finish line feeling and that is what I'm going to do this afternoon for the second race of the day. So I'm going to fuel up now and then I'll see you on the water. Are you? The water is significantly calmer up here this time. Still a bit choppy, not too bad though, and a bit gusty. So, same thing applies. I'm gonna be loose, I'm gonna be relaxed.
What a day, Yam Squad. What an opportunity to learn we've had today. Fell in this morning, not ideal. Managed to finish a race this afternoon. Great success! So, the race itself today, or this afternoon, finished in fifth place with a time of just above eight minutes. So a minute faster than yesterday's heats. So a big improvement, if I do say so myself. But obviously the conditions were much better this afternoon versus yesterday afternoon but still a very strong headwind. And so the progression onto the finals for tomorrow is the same as the heats yesterday. It was the winners of the heats go through to the final automatically and then they filter the finals in with the fastest times. And I don't think, I think the heat that I was in was the slowest heat. Um, so I don't know if my time has made it into one of the finals. So make sure you are subscribed to see the next video to see if it's another race video or moving on from Piedo Luco Regatta. But I went out in that race to be more relaxed, be looser, row better and try and learn something from the race itself. I definitely felt more loose and more relaxed and I definitely learned things as well. So not as loose and as relaxed as I would like to be in the future, but definitely more loose and more relaxed than this morning, but the conditions were better. So maybe it was a case of that rather than me actually being better. But hopefully it was a bit of both. What I learned from the experience from today and from the regatta overall is I can't expect to be able to scull or row in the same way for all conditions. I have to be able to adapt and go just as relatively quickly in all conditions. And that's really the sign of a good sculler, a good rower, is regardless of the conditions that are out there, they're able to go as quick as they can. So I feel that I can go as quick as I can in the flat, good conditions, but then when the conditions are bad, I feel like relatively I'm slower because I am not as good at adapting to those conditions. And that can be a bunch of different factors why that might be the case, but it's an easy thing to work on going forward and it's something I've been working on previously as well. It's just an ongoing process. So the regatta itself has been absolutely fantastic. 
really great opportunity. I came here to try and learn and I've learned a lot. Didn't go the way I anticipated it going, especially building up to training here at Pia de Luco in the, the glass flat conditions we had in the first few days I was here. I was hoping to have races where I just completely just empty the tank. But unfortunately, when the conditions are like they are or like they have been, it's really hard to really empty the legs while you're sort of pushing against a headwind and the boat's going really slow and you're just trying to row well and get to the finish line versus when it's flat and the tailwind's maybe pushing you a little bit, it's much easier to really empty the legs rather than your forearms and your biceps and your shoulders are getting tense and getting you're burning and that is a sign that I'm not adapting to the conditions well as well. So overall I didn't have the experience I anticipated having here at the regatta but it was a great opportunity to learn, to get better, to improve and to fuel that fire, fuel that desire to improve whether that's in training or racing or whatever it is. But the regatta itself, I'm actually really happy that the regatta ended up kind of how it has ended up, like conditions wise. So it could be really easy for me to, if the conditions were really flat and I could go as fast as I can and be comfortable and row in conditions that I know I can go quick in and then come away from the regatta and be like, yep, that's how fast I am. Don't really know what to improve, but that person's this speed, I'm this speed, and that's how fast I can go. Whereas today and yesterday, through the racing, yes, I can't necessarily say that person's this speed, that person's that speed, and I'm this speed, but I can say, well, these people are better at rowing it in those conditions than me. And I would much rather have the sort of, the ego hit, if it were, the disappointment now, especially from falling in a race, versus later on in the season where the races are more of a be all and end all rather than a training exercise, if that makes sense. So I went out there, this regatta was to learn, have an experience, and I've definitely learned and I've definitely had an experience. Pushed me way outside my comfort zone, way, way further than I anticipated being at this regatta. But like I said, I would much rather that and be outside of my comfort zone now, rather than down the line thinking, what's happened because I haven't been pushed outside my comfort zone. So that will be it for this episode of Yam Squad. As always, let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed it. If you've seen the footage and think you need to get better at this or that. If it lines up with me, that's great. If it lines up with something different, let me know. And if you like this episode, you know what to do. Hit that like button. And I will see you in the next episode, which, like I said, it could be in a final tomorrow. It could be going to the next stage of the Euro trip. Or it could be something else. We'll see. Make sure you are subscribed for that. And I'll see you in that episode.